Hello everyone, welcome back to a new LEGO YouTube video. In today's video, I will be going over four new LEGO Ninjago March 2021 LEGO Ninjago sets and the LEGO Ninjago City Gardens. So guys, a couple sets have been revealed today. We have four sets for the new Season 14, and we have the Direct-to-Consumer Ninjago Legacy City Garden set. So guys, I'll be going over all five sets, expressing my thoughts and opinions on them, and whether you should buy them or not. Anyway guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. So guys, let's kick things off with the 10th year anniversary LEGO Ninjago set, and that is the LEGO Ninjago City Gardens. So guys, let me just start off by saying this set looks amazing. I love the bright colors, the yellows, the turquoise blue, the pink, the green, and the trees. They look so nice. This set is just packed with details. So many minifigures, so many little builds. I'm so glad they're continuing the line of Ninjago modular buildings because it's been so cool getting Ninjago City and Ninjago City Docks. I love those sets. I obviously have not bought them. They are very expensive. This set here is going to cost 300 American dollars, while in Australia it's going to cost 540 dollars. So that's a lot of money. However, it is the biggest LEGO Ninjago set ever. And that's true. It's also the fifth biggest LEGO set ever. So it's quite a big set. So for $540, it is good price per piece ratio, and for $300, it is a bargain. For $300, getting over 5,000 pieces and a bunch of minifigures. And, well, let's talk about these minifigures. So you get all the ninja. Some of them are in just their regular clothes. Some of them are in their uniforms. Lloyd is a young version of Lloyd, which I love we also get a new version of Ronin, Misako, they all look great. We get Clutch Powers here, which is great for the people that didn't buy that little battle pack set. You also get the mechanic for the first time, which is great. I love how LEGO is including iconic minifigures from the show in sets. The rest of the minifigures are pretty much just random civilians, nothing too special about them. There's an ice cream person, other things like that. Now let's talk about some of the builds. The trees look great. You get like two trees, so there's a cherry blossom tree at the top. You get a nice other tree. There's Master Chen's Noodle Shop, which I love so much. Master Chen's Noodle Shop is such an iconic thing from Season 4 of Ninjago. Cool, I love how LEGO's included that. And one of my favorite things is the memorial for Zane. The, you get a little... It's really cool because you get like another base plate that actually connects onto this. And the statue thing I just think looks great. And I'm really glad LEGO got to make that eventually. So that's pretty much Ninjago City Gardens. It's a great set. Over 5,000 pieces. You get a bunch of cool minifigures. Now the set is very expensive. So most likely I'm not going to pick it up. But hey, LEGO Ideas is actually holding a contest to build some Ninjago creation. And if you win first place, you actually get an Ninjago City Gardens set, as well as all the legacy sets. So, that's pretty cool. Maybe you should enter for the contest. The link will be in the description below. Anyway, guys, let's get into the Season 14 sets. Now, the Season 14 sets aren't as awesome and epic as Ninjago City Gardens, so I'm going to go through them a bit quicker. For example, Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. This set, I don't really have any interest for. It's a cool bike. I actually think the box art does it really well. You get Nia and Lloyd in their new jungle uniforms, which I love the jungle uniforms. I love the head bandana that some of the ninja are getting. I think it looks great. I think it looks so cool. Honestly, Lego's doing a great job with these new uniforms. The bike itself reminds me a lot of Cole's dirt bike from season 11. So it kind of has, you know, the two ninja and one villain. And so overall, it's an okay set. I don't have too much to say about that next is the jungle dragon and i really like this dragon i think it looks awesome i love the teal color gosh the amount of detail on the set is great you have a spinning tail which looks like it can be so much fun you get lloyd and zane and zane comes with that new titanium hair piece which is something that i really want to get because i need all the ninja's hair pieces which i haven't collected yet i only got lloyd's hair piece and this saves me from buying the Ninjord Epic Battle Set, which, which I was only going to buy for the minifigure. So now I don't have to buy that, and I can just buy this. And I love the other minifigures too. The new villains for the season are pretty cool. I kind of like them. I also kind of don't. I mean, they're a bit weird, 
a bit strange. I don't know why they're all kind of this pink color, but I think it's kind of cool. Some of the island warriors. Anyway, I love this set. I love the wings. Also, it comes with 500 pieces for 40 US dollars. That's great price per piece ratio. And while it does have small wings, I do like it a lot more than the Overlord Dragon, which is a dragon that I thought I might buy. And now, now seeing this dragon, I don't know if I'm actually going to buy the Overlord Dragon. Maybe if I win that LEGO Ideas contest, well then I won't have to buy the dragon. Hmm, might work out. Anyway guys, let's move on to another set. This is probably going to be a favorite set for a lot of people. This is the Keeper's Village. Now this set is really cool. Comes with three ninja, which all look awesome. Kai, Jay, and Cole. I love their uniforms. They all have head bandanas. They look so awesome like that. You got Chief Mamatis, which is like the big bad for this season. Which is cool that you get him in a cheaper set. And oh, the build looks really nice. I kind of, I really like the kind of skull-looking snake statue thing with like lava teeth or whatever. That looks really nice. And then the totem pole with like hands. I don't, I forget what the name is. It also comes with this amulet, a throne. There's some stairs and stuff. It looks like a really fun playset. I can see this set being very fun. Comes with around 600 pieces. And what I'm hearing is that's gonna be 50 US dollars. Which is great. 50 US dollars for this. That means it's most likely going to be 60 to 70 Australian dollars. Which is a good price. That's how much I was expecting it costs for America. I love how LEGO is making more affordable sets for people. Anyway, I like that set a lot. I most likely will pick it up. And the next set here is the biggest set out of the Season 14 wave. And this is the um, Catamaran Sea Battle. Now when I first heard about this set, I was very excited. I thought it was going to be a really cool, big catamaran set. However, it's not. It's two miniature catamarans, and I am semi-disappointed. I don't really like this set that much. The minifigures are pretty cool, but honestly, there's no real exclusives. So, there's no real draw for the minifigures, and the builds are okay. I don't mind Kai's catamaran. I think that looks pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of the speedboat, and the villain, and the, um... The Island Warriors Catamaran, that reminds me a lot of the Lego Chima sets, some of the like Vulture sets, it looks very similar to me, so I have really no care for this set. Anyway guys, those are going to be all the sets here, all five of them. So my final thoughts, I love Ninjago City, I love that set, I think if you have the money to buy it, I would buy it. Some of the Season 14 sets seem really good, and some of them just seem like average, everyday Lego Ninjago sets. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and um, there will be a video coming out shortly, a Star Wars CMF series, so stay tuned for that. And I think with everything said, have a great day.